I am Dr. R. R. Sanap, Head and Associate Professor, Department of Botany, Rao Bahadur Narendra Baroque College, Rampur. Today, I am going to deliver the lecture on the study of plant family. So, today I am going to deliver the lecture on the family Papillionaceae. It is the part of TYBSC syllabus that is paper 4th BO334 and title of the paper is the spermatophyta and the paleobotany. So I am going to cover the points while delivering the lecture that is the systematic position, morphological characters, distinguishing characters of the family, then floral formula and floral diagram of the family and economically importance of the family papillonacy. So first let us see about the systematic position or classification of the family. So this is the systematic position or classification that is division phanerogams, subdivision angiosperms, class dicotyledons, subclass polypetali, cilis, Caliciflori, order Rogels, family Leguminosi, and this family in Bentham and Hooker system of classification, it is divided into three subfamilies that is, subfamily Papillonaceae, subfamily Mimosaceae, and the subfamily Cisalpinaceae. So, here uh, let us see this uh, subfamily Papillonaceae and its example is taken that is the Susbania Susban. So thus this is about the classification or the systematic position of this family Papillonaceae. Now let us see about the morphological characters of the family. Morphological characters so first let us see about the habit of the plant. So if we see the plants of this family, they may be the herbs, may be the shrubs, may be the trees or climbers. So sometimes some plants they are showing the climbing habit. If we see the root, it shows the presence of the tap root system. So in the leguminosi family, on the roots of the plant, the root nodules are present. So these root nodules, they are formed uh, due to the entry of the microorganism that is the bacteria, that is nitrogen fixing bacteria are present, which grows on the root and form the root nodules. Then if we see the stem, stem it is aerial, it is erect, or maybe the wick if it is the climber, it is branched and it may be the herbaceous or woody. Herbaceous if it is the herb and it may be the woody if these plants are shrubs or trees. If we see the leaves, leaves are here, they are maybe stipulate or maybe the egg stipulate. So they are petiolate and they are pinnately compound. Pinnately compound with the reticulate venation. It shows the presence, so it, as it is the dicot family, it shows the presence of the reticulate venation. If we see the inflorescence, it shows the presence of the uh, flowers may be uh, present in the solitary condition. So the actually is solitary or maybe the racemos. So actually it is the racemos racine type or it may be the flowers may be the solitary. So if we see the flowers, so they may be the bracteate. In case of Sosbania, they are with bracteole, that is the bracteolate, pedicellate, 
जायगोमॉर्फिक यार बायसेक्शुअल एंड पीरी गाइनस राइट हियर इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द सीरीज कैलिसिफ्लोरी सो हियर देयर इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द पीरी गाइनस फ्लावर एंड यू पुश द कैलिक्स इट शोस द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द सेपल्स फायो दे आर यूनाइटेड सो कॉल्ड एज द गैमोसेपेलस एंड प्रेजेंट इन द फॉलोवेट टाइप ऑफ एस्टिवेशन सो हियर the sepals they are present in the valvet type of estivation so this is about the calyx now let us see about the corolla androecium and the gynaecium which are somewhat typical in the family of papilionaceae now if we see the uh, corolla so in a family papilionaceae there are five petals so the petals are five but out of this five petals one posterior petal is large posterior petal is large it is known as the standard or vigilum it is known as the standard or vigilum so this petal it is large very attractive then this standard or vigilum it encloses the two small lateral petals these are called as the wings or ali so these are somewhat smaller and this wings or ali they encloses again two small slightly united boat shaped petals both shaped petals which are slightly united these are called as the keel or may be called as the carina keel or carina so thus here this uh, you push uh, this uh, corolla of the family papilionaceae then it shows the structure like this so suppose this is the corolla so it show the presence of the uh, large petal so this large petal it is called as the standard or vigilum so the standard or vigilum it encloses the two smaller petals these are called as the wings or ali so thus this is the standard or may be called as the vigilum and this uh, wings are ali they encloses the two smaller petals which are slightly united at their base these are called as the keel or carina keel or carina so this here this is the corolla here there is a presence of the thalamus which is cup shaped and it show the presence of this is the calyx that is showing the sepal here there is a presence of a small bract and above it there are the presence of the very two small bracteoles so these are the bracteoles so this here flower it is bracteate two bracteoles are present this is the cup shaped uh, thalamus and inner side to it there is a presence of the corolla which is showing the one large sized uh, petal known as standard or vigilum it encloses two smaller petals in lateral side called as the wings orally and it encloses these two small slightly united boat shaped petals these are called as the keel or carina so this about the corolla you push the androecium so this androecium it show the presence of the ten stamens so stamens are ten they are diadelphous that is nine plus 
डाइटिकस एंड बी सी फिक्सड और मे बी दॉर सी फिक्सड सो हियर इपी दी द एंड्रोशियम सो दिस एंड्रोशियम दे शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ the stem is so these are the nine stamens and this tenth stamen it remains free nine plus one and thus is nine stamen they fuse together form the one bundle and tenth one it remains free and that's why it is called as the diadal first stamen that is nine plus one and there is the presence of the gynaecium so this gynaecium it show the presence of the elongated style and there is a presence of the stigma and below it there is a presence of the ovary so thus this is the ovary this is the style and this is the stigma and if you see the entire this flower it look like the butterfly and butterfly or papillon type and that's why this corolla it is known as the papillonaceous corolla papillonaceous that is the butterfly like butterfly like so this here this corolla it is the papillonaceous and that's why the name of this family it is given so it has this family has the name that is the family papillonaceae so thus this in this uh, family papillonaceae the structure of the flower is like this corolla it is irregular and that's why this uh, flower it becomes zygomorphic so the flower is bracteate bracteolate pedicellate then zygomorphic bisexual and it is the perigynous so this is about the uh, androecium and if you see the gynaecium so this gynaecium it is So the gynaecium it is monocarpillary. That is gynaecium it consists of only one carpel. Unilocular. It may be the superior or semi inferior. Style long. and stigma capitated this about the uh, uh gynaecium and you push the fruit so the fruit it is the legume or may be called as the pod type so it is dry dehiscent type of fruit and due to the presence of this fruit legume family it is named as the family leguminosae and it is sub family that is the family papillonosae now you put the floral formula so i took the example here this asbania sasban you put the floral formula so the flower it is bracteate symbol is br it is bracteolate symbol is brm then it is zygomorphic both androecium and gynaecium are present so it is bisexual calyx it show the presence of the sepals five but the sepals they are united so called as the gamosepals corolla it consists of the five petals but its petals they are present in 1 plus 2 plus 2 manner that is one is standard two are wings orally two are keel or carina they are uh, irregular size in shape and so they are written like this then androecium so this androecium it consists of the stem is 10 that is 9 plus 1 that is diadolphus and if you see the gynaecium it consists of one carpel unilocular ovary so here there is a presence of the superior ovary so this here this is about the floral formula of the family papillonaceae now let us see about the floral diagram of the family
So this is the floral diagram of this uh, family Papillonaceae. The flower is bracteate, having the two bracteoles, that is bracteolate. Flower is zygomorphic. Calyx, it consists of the sepals five. They are united, so called as gamosepalus. Corolla consists of five petals. Out of that one is large. This is standard or vexillum. It encloses the two smaller petals. These are called as the wings or ali, and these wings or ali, they encloses the two smaller boat shaped petals which are slightly united. These are called as the keel or carina. So this is about the corolla. Androsium, it consists of uh, 10 stamens. Out of that, these 9 stamens, they fuse together and this 10th one, it remains free. So that's why they are 9 plus 1 and gynecium it is monocarpillary unilocular superior ovary with marginal placentation so this is about the floral diagram of the family now you see the distinguishing characters of the family so the plants they show the presence of the leaves they may be stipulate or extipulate Flowers are present in solitary condition or in the racemose racem type of inflorescences. Flowers are bracteate, bracteolate. They are zygomorphic and perigynous. Then the corolla is papillonaceous with standard or vexillum, wings or ali, keel and carina. And androsium, it is having the 10 stamens in diadolphous condition. Kinesium, it is monocarpillary unilocular, superior ovary with marginal placentation and the type of fruit, it is the legume type. So this is about the uh, distinguishing characters of the family. Now let us see about the economic importance of the family. Economic importance. So if we see the plants of this family is so it shows the presence of large number of genera and species and plants of this family, they are economically very important. So here, uh, if we see the plants of this family, many plants, they are economically important. So uh, many uh, plants, they are cultivated for the uh, pulses, so pulses they are obtained from the seeds of many plants. For example, Kajanus Kajan, then the Sizer aretinum, then Radiatus Mungo. Then the glycine max, then lens isculenta. So thus here, the uh, from the uh, seeds of this plant, the pulses are obtained and which are used for the eating purposes. That is the edible. Then from uh, some plant, the edible oil is extracted. That is called as the oil yielding plants. So here the plants like the Arachis hypogea, groundnut, then the plant like the glycine max, soybean. So we know that these plants they are generally cultivated for their uh, seeds and from the seeds the edible oil is extracted 
and after the extraction of oil, the cake left behind, and this cake it is used for uh, the cattle feeding. Then the next is medicinally important plants. Medicinally important. So the plant like the abrus precatorius. So this plant, it is medicinally important. So the seeds of this plant, they are used in the treatment of nervous disorder and the seeds they are also used as a purgative. Then the next is Trigonella Soenum Gracicum. So this uh, leaves of this plant or the leaves and twigs of this plant it is used as a leafy vegetable and the seeds of this plant they are mutually important they are used as a carminative and the infusion of the seed it is uh, given uh, as a cooling agent the, in the uh, smallpox patient then some plants they are also economy important as a timber for example the dalbergia sisu So here, this plant that is Dalbergia sisu, that is sisum plant. So the uh, uh, wood of this plant, uh, it is uh, hard and woody, and so it is used for making the quality furniture. Then the fibrous some plants like that is the fiber is often some plant like the Crotolaria gentia. So from the stem of this plant, the fiber is obtained and that fiber it is used for making the gunny bags or making the ropes, cordage and so on. From some plant, the dye is obtained called as the dye yielding plants. For example, the indigo fera tinctoria. So from the plants of this uh, indigo ferrat tintoria, the blue dye is obtained. So for it, it is cultivated. And uh, some plants, they are also used as a green manure. So the Crotolaria gentia, it is uh, commonly uh, cultivated for the green manure also. So this here, these are the some plants and their economic importance. So here I am going to conclude. Thank you very much.